All great empires start with a stormy beginning. Hi guys. So it just stopped raining and I thought it would be a good idea to bring you guys to the forest and show you what it looks like. I'm already sweating, the humidity is really high and I'm in the forest trail top of a mountain. So yeah, we're going to look for some ants, see if we can find especially ponderine queens, ponderine species and see what we can find. Okay, let's go! So guys, I just found a pseudo neoponera queen and it's this ant here and how I know it's a queen because I really check it and before she runs away I'll just try to capture her and she's getting... She's okay, already here it is and of course I'll show you <clears throat> some pictures so here's a odontoponera queen and and once again of course with only one hand everything becomes more difficult ay, ay, ay. Where are you going, little one? <coughs> because I forgot to bring my insect aspirator. So here she is. Lovely Odontoponera queen. Odontoponera denticulata. And you see? So that's another queen if I'm not mistaken. Another Odontoponera queen. And I cannot see it. It's really this one is hard to spot. Probably not, but uh, let's try to do it like this. Okay. Is this a queen? Yes, this is. Uh, this is a queen, but a strange one. Sometimes it happens. I find these uh, small thorax queens. I I'll later on. I'll do a side by side comparison of the queen I just caught with this one, so you can see. And now, just to make fun of myself, uh, just to show you what it looks like to to do some anting in Asia when you're not from around I'm sweating I don't know like what this is absolutely awful and I'm rocking my Harpagnatos Venator t-shirt which is completely wet ah. oh I found something hi guys Welcome to this week's video. Sorry, this week is a little bit rough because uh, the editing is rough on the edges because I just uh, spent the whole weekend anting and yeah, I am, I am not having much time to uh, edit the video, so it is what it is. Um, interestingly enough, while I'm editing this clip, uh, you'll notice that the two top queens are interacting with each other and the bottom one is actually alone and isolated and there's a good reason for that i didn't notice at first but these two on top are queens and this one on the bottom is a worker and they don't seem to even belong to the same species this is the problem with these really small ponderine ants uh, sometimes you think they are queens but they are not uh, of course i will uh, put some macro photos for you to see so this is my these are my first spoils of war 
of my anting. Going from the smallest to the largest, this is my Pseudo Neoponera queen, the one I caught. Uh, this is the first time I've ever caught a queen of this species uh, in Macau and it's awesome. I hope I can succeed uh, to have a, a colony to pass the foundation stage. Um, the queen is struggling a little bit to get some grip because these uh, plastic surfaces are not ideal for ponderine ants, but that's why I am using right. Uh, I'm using them right now to allow me to make these videos and uh, not having the ants running or climbing over the place. So yeah, this was a great find. I'm very happy, and of course, again, I'll put some photos and wish me luck on this one. Move on to the next one. The usual suspect. Finally, this year managed to get a Harpognathos Venator Queen, but she is a very big uh, girl, so let's, uh, let's also hope that she can have a good colony. And now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the clip, uh, there was a moment where I was struggling to identify if one of the Odontoponera Queens was really a queen or a worker, and you can see the difference here. Look at the size difference between the large queen and the smaller one but they are both queens i'll show you uh, some pictures of the side by side if i can of their wing scars they were captured at the same moment at the same time same day uh, so yeah just speculation if any of you has any theories on what is happening here and why this very big difference uh, odontoponera queens are known to be if i'm not mistaken 1.2 times larger than workers uh, but this is actually quite ridiculous. The the smaller queen is actually uh, very very similar to a worker. Uh, you can see the difference. Look at it. So guys, from uh, your side, I want to know what would you like to see in terms of experimentation with this uh, with these queens and this species? Because I already have a, an Odontoponera denticulata colony, so I'm willing to do some experimentation. Uh, I will try to brood boost one of the queens. I will try to put a one of the big queens with the smaller queens, see if they go along well. Um, like, let me know what you think, what experiments you would like me to, to see. Because I want to do weekly updates on on the on the development of these six queens and um, the results of this those experiments. And now I will show you all the six queens, all the six Odontoponera queens I got uh, side by side, and how they are interacting with each other. So guys, we've reached the end of our video. Let me know in the comment section if you like this type of video or not. Although it was a little bit rough, I uh, hope you have. And um, see you next week. And stay safe. And thank you for your support. Cheers.